What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and today we are playing an early look at Carrier Command 2. This is a remake of the original Carrier Command by Microprose, and uh, I've actually had this game for quite a while, many months. Um, I've been waiting for it to kind of get into a test build. They just did the demo release for, which is no longer available for Steam, and I was like, you know what, I had a, I've been having so much fun with it, I'll give it a shot. This is a multiplayer co-op game, uh, right now we're playing it in, si in uh, single player where you island hop with a commit carrier where you command different drones to do different things. Ground-based drones and carrier-based drones. So we're going to actually launch it and get it out into the water. We're going to go ahead and deploy the carrier off the dry dock and into the water and start the engine. Now, in this one... We have a bunch of different islands, and I'll show you. We have this crazy map, which is a 3D map. We have a bunch of different islands we can capture, but also there's AI. So we're going to go for one of the AI that is running a carrier like us and try to stomp him off the map immediately. Um, show you a little bit around. Here's the medals that you can earn. This is the station where you've launched different traffic, take control of the different, um, different drones. Here, over here, you have all your cruise missile systems, your flare launcher, torpedoes, um, it's your countermeasures, runway lights, and of course you can see your air traffic for your drones. Uh, over here is all your defensive stuff, your AAA, your Sea Whiz, which we're going to arm all those, your navigation. Um, this is all your power, damage control, fuel, this is your stockpile where you arm and rearm your vehicles. Um, let's go ahead and actually get her turning towards, because there is an enemy island over there with a boat. I don't want to mess with it. I want to go find this, uh, this carrier and take it out. Actually, kind of see it. It looks like the carrier over there. All right. So kind of a little bit of a tour going on here. Go outside. Here's the carrier. Kind of a small little carrier, as you can see. That's where we just came from. We have a warehouse over there with a barge. And then we can come down the outside, see all of our torpedoes, um, all your main guns, missiles, Sea Whiz, AAA. And we can take the elevator down. It's called a lift to here. And of course, the music's got this cool, like, retro wave to it, which is awesome. And we'll go to floor one. Which I believe is the hangar deck. Yes, yes it is. Kind of. Yeah, floor one's hangar deck. So in here, these are all our different drones that we can launch. And then down here is where we have all of our amphibious ground-based stuff. So there's a lot going on. So we're going to go ahead and move a little closer to the carrier and start engaging it and launching aircraft. All right, so we are approaching the carriers over there. These are the different, uh, this is the carrier's actual weapon systems. No FLIR, and as you can see, we can see it over there. We got missiles, guns, flare, guided artillery, guided missiles. We only have the missiles and guns right now, um, but we're not going to waste them because it's outside the 10, 10 kilometer range. But what we're going to do so we're going to go over here to these two aircraft, these two Mantas, and change the payload out to torpedoes. So we're going to do a double stack of torpedoes. So each one of these is going to have a crazy amount of torpedoes. Um, or we could try bombs. That would be kind of cool. Torpedo. 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 So that Manta's gonna load up with torpedoes. Torpedo. And grab another one. So we're just gonna load this sucker up with as many torpedoes as we possibly can. Because the torpedoes have a really good guidance on them and they're really fun to use. We're gonna actually change to IR missiles on this thing fully. So both the albatrosses, switch them over to IR missiles. Kind of have them as a backup in case we need more of them. 
Uh, which I doubt. I doubt we'll need more. And then this S2, I want to set him up with the virus bot. Virus bots take over islands, so they're a cool little thing. Then, of course, over here, you can see all our, all our weapons, everything that we have, stockpile. And we can also, um, what we do is we take this barge, set it to there, set the warehouse to us, and then we can call in um, different stuff from the barge. And it'll, the barge will come over to us and bring us supplies, which is kind of cool. And then there's activity log. And huge-ass waves, man. Crazy big waves. So we still got a little ways to go before we get within strike range of this carrier. Um, but once we do, we should be pretty good. Uh, actually, I do want to load... On the right side, we're going to load torpedoes. On the left side, we're going to load noisemakers. And then here, that red line is actually where our torpedo is aiming. And we can kind of change the bearing of it based off of blocks. The torpedoes are all seeking, so they'll use their own um, acoustics to kind of seek through. So we'll wait till we get a little closer, and then pick up once we get a little closer towards the action. Alrighty, we got some crazy pitching deck. They launched a fighter. Not at us, I don't think. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take a quick look around. How's our fuel and everything going? Looking good. And we are going to launch... Um, I'm going to launch both of our attack fighters, the Mantas, A7, A8, and we'll wait for the crane and everything to kind of get on their way. And yeah, they launched another fighter. They got one fighter up there that just got shot down by that ship over there. And there is a missile. Nope, these are the fighters that are being, okay. Actually kind of do want to continue moving. We're only moving 10 knots, and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Eh, I'm so bad at hitting that. Okay, we're gonna have to watch our damage status and everything too. You know what we could do? We could fire a torpedo out at that ship over there real quick. Two torpedoes at it would be kind of nice actually. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fire two torpedoes out at that, uh, that ship over there. And right, launch two torpedoes. Both are outbound. Load more torpedoes. Cool. That's going to be kind of a ways off, though. All right. Should be getting our first fighter up here soon. Yep, coming up the elevator now. Oh, could you imagine landing on a deck like this on a carrier? Oh my god. Talk about a roller coaster. All right, these torpedoes guide pretty far, but we have to be kind of careful with how we lose use them because we can also kind of move the lights around a bit too if we want to. Ooh, I think we're completely out of torpedoes. All right, let's just load noisemakers. Yeah, I think we've done used all our torpedoes. Ooh, the other fighter just got lobbed out of the sky. All right, now what we can do is we kind of set the, this fighter up into like a zone to kind of chill at, but we're gonna immediately take control of him. Kind of small out here as you can see, not a lot going on. All right, there's the enemy carrier over there. Kind of come in low and fast if we can. Now I am controlling this with the mouse and keyboard, as you can tell. And there we go, manual, manual. Manual and manual. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Go, 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 go. If 
four torpedoes outbound. On the carrier, looks like we have multiple missiles outbound also. Okay, we're going to send him immediately back to land. And um, we're going to send him out to chill real quick. Yeah, bunch of missiles outbound, it looks like. Torpedoes are tracking, though. Send him up over here. We might hit him. Okay, let's watch. Oof. We're really close. Holy shit. We're a lot closer than I thought we were. We were. Slow down a bit. There's our fighter coming back. He's got something coming up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think we hit. I think we just killed it. I think the torpedoes hit. No, no, no. Oh, that's not our fighter. Oh, my God. Oh, no, we killed it. It's dead. We blew it up. Holy hell. We actually blew it up. No way, dude. Yes! So awesome. Now what else do we get? Well, there's another carrier out here somewhere. As you can see, this is a 3D map. Check this out. I don't know if you can kind of see it from here. But... You can kind of see the, the height of it. Oh, we got something coming in for a landing. Too. trying to come in yeah that four torpedo salvo was enough to take out that carrier could have launched noisemakers and kind of made it a little easier on self but i guess not but we'll actually we have the other manta up we'll actually take it out on a strike maybe a, another to go hit the other carrier or one of the few ships that are still over here chilling oh god look at this deck <laughs> oh no how's it gonna land very carefully. Oof. Well, made it in. So that's going to go back and rearm. And then let's take control of this other Manta. Um, there's one ship over here. So I do want to take control of this Manta and go hit that other ship real quick with like two torpedoes if we can. There's the ship I want to hit right there. So we're going to take control. And we're going to lob two torpedoes out onto them. Once we get close enough. Do a flyby of the carrier. I'm really looking forward to doing this with like co-op or against like each other. I think this would be really cool. They definitely got to work on the torpedoes a bit. They are a little OP. Okay. No, I should have just stuck them all up into uh, manual like immediately. Okay, and fire. They're all down. Two torpedoes out. Okay, and we'll send him back to the La Carrier. Cool, two torpedoes out towards that ship. And then we'll go ahead and orient ourselves towards that island now. Oh, let's turn off our little autopilot. Them with sonar, so we're looking good there. Yep, 
There are a lot more boats out there than I realized. After we make this turn, I do want to get um, our other two IR missile capable ones up. So we can go and find any ground forces they have and pound the shit out of them. But we're just going to have to mop up these ships, I think, first. Because they're going to be kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. Nope, yep, we hit. Hit. It's still alive. Wow, that thing's got more armor than I thought. Okay. Uh, cancel the... Uh, cancel. Damn it, I need to override. Shit. Get, get out of here. Go. Somewhere else. Oh, man. Go. Somewhere else. Okay, there you go. Now it's gonna work. Okay, back to the torpedoes. Kind of stinks, man. I was kind of hoping we would have to do this only like once, but. I guess we're gonna have to fire a lot more. Damn. This game is very time consuming though. It's definitely, taking an island will take you a few hours, if that. Okay, let's go on in. Oh shit, it's firing on us. Torpedo's out, and we're outie. And we're gonna switch to our countermeasures. Fire, fire. Fire one more, all right, we're good. We're golden. Send it back to the carrier. And yeah, there's a ton more naval forces over there. Wowzers. Missile outbound. Camera. So just realize there's a missile on it? Yes, it does. Oh shit. Uh, fire, 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 fire. Fire flares, fire flares. Fire them all! Fire and flares. Okay, I think we're golden. Cool, ship's dead. Alright, let's launch uh, our two other ground forces, our two other albatrosses, and just kind of pick off. We're not going to be able to take the island in this video. There's no, there's no way that's happening right now. But um, we might be able to kind of pick off a few forces here and there. Because we have to go all the way around the back side of the island because there's a ton of, like, enemy ships on the back side, which will make things super difficult. But we haven't taken any damage. We're actually out of torpedoes, I think. That was our last batch of torpedoes. Did take out a carrier, though, which is nice. But, all right, we'll pick it up when we launch the next group. All right, so we got our first one up of the Albatross. We're going to send it kind of like on a course over here and I'm gonna take control of just the camera uh, I'm not gonna use its I'm not gonna use anything else try to scout out any ground forces there's ones actually right there yep so we got a ground force there is that one there no I don't want to get too close because I will be in their fire zone I don't want to get shot at, frankly. Ooh, they got their own air forces over here. They got a runway. Wow, I didn't notice that. Anything else? That's the only one? Oh, no, no, there's one right there. That's AAA. I wish we had a FLIR mode for this. It would be super cool.
Oh no, there's tons of AAA over there. Wow, look at all that. That's new. There's another one over there. Wowzers. Okay, I'm taking control. I'm gonna set this one for manual and that one for manual. So fire two of the AAA. Uh-oh. Did I just stall her? Oh my god, I did. Ooh. Block the target there. I think we're good enough away from it. And fire. And then uh, manual. Unlock that target. Lock that target. And fire. Okay, a few missiles away. Kind of move on out there. Nice, good hit on the first one. And second one is shot down, I think. Damn, okay, let's try it again. Well, at least I got the ground vehicle done, skis. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I think it got shot down. I'm giving it a shot and see what happens. Once we get a little closer here. Okay, good range, good range, and fire. And off to the camera. Nope, got it. Okay. Uh, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Oof. Yeah, I think we just shot down a few of their aircraft over there, too. Wowzers. But, yeah, we did some damage. We did some damage, man. This game's really cool. It's really unique. Um, I'm excited for it to launch. It's going to launch this summer, I believe. Um, really liking the content with it. It's got that Stormworks feel to it, too, which is super cool. Got cool soundtrack a lot of cool things really excited to do it with um with some co-op if you guys do want to see more of it maybe i'll continue this campaign if you guys really enjoy this video and you want to see more to do with carrier command 2 but i really hope you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more of it and i'll let you uh let me know how you guys liked it in the comments below talk to you guys later peace